All right, match number five, also with the playback feature, due to OBS messing up yet again. So we get to be on the play here. This hand is a little bit land light, but we have preordains to help us find land, and we have an early removal spell, so we go ahead and keep. Our opponent leads with a Doom Traveler, so we know they're probably playing a tokens deck. The Chittering Rats is probably going to be too slow since I already have a three drop, and I just need to keep on finding land, so I put the island on top. Cast my other preordain. Ditch the Archimancer in the island and draw a Radiant Fountain. Here I play the 3 drop I had previously planned on playing, which is great against the Tokens deck. Put a Demir Aqueduct in my hand because Ghostly Flicker is way too slow. Opponent plays a go Core Sky Fisher and a War Falcon and passes. So the War Falcon can't attack unless you control a Knight or a Soldier, and they have quite a lot of Soldiers available for it. They also offer to trade in their Doom Traveler to make it into a Flyer, which I do accept in block, so it makes my Chainer's Edict a little bit better. Here I develop the Aqueduct because I want to have 5 mana next turn for my Muldrifter, and just pass with Counterspell available, and get whacked for 5 in the air. I go ahead and Counterspell this, just because it can draw them a card with the clue it creates, and then play Core Sky Fisher next, picking up a land. I finally get to play my Muldrifter so I can block a Flyer, and then I just hope they don't have a Pump Spell. They attack with a bunch of things, I block, and they just let the damage resolve. And I fall down to 11. They follow up with Benevolent Bodyguard, which can protect a creature. Seagate Oracle finds a removal spell, and I use that to try to take out the War Falcon, but Benevolent Bodyguard goes ahead and sacrifices itself to stop me. And I get rid of a Lowly Soldier token with a Chainer's Edict, which is then replaced by two more. They debate over attacks for a long time, and finally I block three things. And then they reveal that they are not just a typical tokens deck, they are a soldier's deck. When you cycle Gem Palm Avenger, soldier creatures get plus one, plus one, and gain first strike until end of turn. Here's the full card in question. So I take quite a lot of damage. Luckily, War Falcon itself is not a soldier, so I'm still able to trade off with that. Archimancer goes and gets a Disfigure, and this is just a uh, survival-based choice. I can't actually find any hard removal to get rid of a Core Skyfisher, but I can Disfigure one of them, only take two damage in the air, and survive one more turn and potentially have an out. I find a dead weight, so my plan went there was to exclude a creature in their first main phase and then Doomblade this if I draw like exactly Doomblade off of Exclude. But they attack first and we lose game one. In the sideboard I bring in I believe two or three na Nausea to try to counter the tokens, probably all three. As well as a Stormbound Geist or two I believe to deal with the Flyers and a Dispel to deal with the Guardian's Pledge. My game two hand is exceedingly slow. I have to play a Swamp, do nothing, play a Bounce Land, discard a hand size and do nothing, and then turn three, play like an Oracle or a Rats. And that's not really fast enough against this kind of deck, so I decided to mulligan. This hand is obviously missing blue mana, but at least it has early removal, so I decided to keep it. Put a preordain on the bottom since I can't cast it. They lead with a War Falcon, which I promptly disfigure. And then I have a Chittering Rats, and to there raise the alarm. So at least I've got a blocker. They play three of an Inspector. And they play the card that stops our shovel from working. Veteran Armorsmith. Other soldier creatures you control get plus 0, plus 1. We decide to attack and hope they block and then we can deadweight to finish off the veteran. That does not work. They play a Benevolent Bodyguard and a Veteran Armorer. Which is similar. It's a 2-mana two 2-2 two two instead of 2-3. It gives all of their other creatures plus 0, plus 1. So my plan to Ghostly Flicker on their turn and untap the Children Rats as a blocker uh, and get one of their cards and block the a soldier token didn't work out very well. Probably should have done it in response to the Benevolent Bodyguard so that they wouldn't be able to cast their second card. So I simply cycle my Baron War. And on this turn I play another blocker for no value because they have zero cards in hand. They sacrifice their clue and play a Doom Traveler. We decide to double block to try to get this creature off the table. So that we can then go dead weight into Shrivel, even though the Benevolent Bodyguard is going to mess that up, most likely. And Benevolent Bodyguard prevents us from being able to trade. 
On this turn, we dead weight just to stop the onslaught a little bit and block a wood power thing, bounce off of it, and fall to five. On this turn, we still have nothing to do. These counter spells are rotting in our hand. And they won't help us catch back up. The guys can't block anything, and the ghostly flicker's not doing much when they're on so few cards in hand. And I don't even have a radiant fountain or anything to gain life with. We go ahead and counterspell this just because we can. Block the only thing we can block to survive, fall to one and lose. So overall, a quick match. Opponent was playing tokens, which is great against our Chainer's Edict effects. So we went 2-3 overall. The deck was a lot of fun to play. I definitely think with all the one and two ofs in the deck and in the sideboard, there are ways that you could customize the deck as the metagame changes. I wouldn't mind seeing a Reaping the Graves or an Evan Carr's Justice in the sideboard. In any case, thank you for watching, and let me know in the comments below whether you preferred or did not prefer the format for matches 1, 2, and 5 where we discuss the playback of the games instead of the real-time talk of the games themselves. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.